Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markway at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. Hello, this is Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Malkwe of Living Streams International, bringing you Matters of Faith with Graphic Online. And of course, using the good hospitality, riding on the good hospitality of La Beach Hotel. Now, here's, here are my thoughts for today. And my thoughts for today might sound a little bit aggressive. Naked kings and fools. Now, I, I'm, my mind is taken back to the, the story of, of this woman called Abigail, who had a husband called Nabal. And you know, David goes to Nabal and David tells Nabal, please give me some food. I've been watching over your sheep. So far as my, my little army, my band was around your sheep. Nothing got lost and you didn't lose anything. And the Bible says the answer that Nabal gave to, to David was stingy and uh, it, 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 it stung David. And David said, I'm going to punish this guy. But the Bible says, now his wife called Abigail then runs to David and gives him food and gives him even wine. Now, now, that's a very interesting story. And look at the address of, of, of Abigail. Abigail said, excuse me, sir, David, my husband is a fool and his name even means fool. Father of fools. So you know what? My husband is a fool. So as his name, so is his character. So don't pay attention to this fool. Everybody in my house knows he's a fool. He's the only person who doesn't know he's a fool. Now that is an interesting thing. So the king is naked. Nobody can tell the king naked, but the king is naked, walking around, believing he's clothed with, with robes of splendor. Meanwhile, he's naked. How sad it is that sometimes when people are in positions of prominence, you don't have people speaking the truth to them. Everybody else recognizes that this is stupid. This is foolish. This is nonsense. This shouldn't be. And nobody, everybody is afraid to tell them that this is not right. The king is naked. Nobody can tell him. Everybody knew. And here's the interesting thing. Every woman's husband is a hero. And the day the picture of the hero goes away, you are lost. Abigail said, my husband is a fool. So he was telling, she was telling David, you are a better man than my husband. Don't follow his foolish ways and become a fool too like him. Oh boy. The king is naked and he's a fool. And nobody can tell him but everybody knows it how sad it is that leadership sometimes breeds uh, uh yes says leadership sometimes breeds uh what, what we call uh, what we call the hypocrites sometimes leadership breeds people who 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 will be singing pleasant platitudes who will be singing his praise leadership breeds that of course there are challenges of leadership leadership needs hosannas because leadership will face crucify him but, 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 the, but the interesting thing is that who are there to speak the truth to leadership? Who is there, oh pastor, to speak the truth to you? Who is there, oh man of God, to speak the truth of you? Don't be, don't be, don't be, don't be fixated with the palliatives the, uh, of, 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 of hypocrisy that is on offer. Don't, don't, don't be, don't be satisfied by it. Sometimes objectivity is no rebellion. Objectivity is, is no rejection either. But objectivity places a platform for further in education, for further information. That's what objectivity does. And sometimes we, we, we crowd out those people who are objective and say about them that they are not for us. That's not true. You need somebody to speak the truth to you. Otherwise, you'll be a king walking naked and a fool and nobody would know it. Nobody can tell you. Everybody knows it, but nobody can tell you. Because you are used to the praise. You are used to, to, to uh, yea. You are used to yea and amen. You don't want to listen to any other opinion. You're so opinionated that you've become a pig-headed person. You, you have moved, you have graduated from stubborn to obstinate to pig-headed. You don't need that. Neither any of us need that. Don't be a, a naked king and a fool. and No one can tell you. Well, the choice is yours. See you later.